What is going on guys? This is going to be a detailed walkthrough of VFA and I think this is the best portfolio manager that exists for Ethereum. So first thing you have is portfolio and you could either add a wallet or you can show your connected wallet. In order to connect to VFA, you literally just press this, then you connect. So if I click show connected wallet, it gives me an idea of my net worth, how much all my cryptos are worth that are in this wallet, my debt, so if you take any leverage, I have leverage in Moonwall, and how many assets. This is showing you a complete overview of all your assets and the specific chains. You can see I'm on base, Ethereum, Arbitrum and Polygon. It shows the token address, it shows the current token price, it's where it is lending. So if you have a lot of cryptos, it can be a bit confusing to know where they are, but I know that's in lending. I know these are liquidity pools. And it's going to show me the location, it's going to show me how many tokens I have, and it's going to show me the current value. So it's a very easy way instead of using just your wallet. But you're going to spend most of your time in yield. So this is where you're going to find all the different liquidity pairs that you can provide liquidity to. You have the TVL, this is how much money is currently involved in the pair. You have the weekly rewards, this is how much money is being made every week. And you have the juicy number, the APR, this is how much money people are typically making per year by providing liquidity in this pools. And you see that little one, this is where I hold a position and in, in that specific pool and you can favor it. So you, when you look at it again, you're going to see that little star icon that you're interested in. If you click on the TVO, it's going to go from the smallest amount of TVO and it's going to go to the most amount of TVO. Now, I wouldn't recommend just going for the juiciest APR because obviously this one, I don't know what PHAR is, but 77,000 APR is not really realistic. I actually want to get into this pairing. So I'm going to search Luna and this is a virtual agent. You literally just click on it and you can see that on the right, and this is where you set all your ranges, you put how much crypto you want, it's changed to WEF Luna. Here, this is on Aerodrome and the fees is 0.7%. You can see what the price in Luna and what the price is in WEF. Typically, you want to stick to WEF because this is what Dex Screener uses. In here, you have the token that you want to convert. Here, this WEF amount, you can do a percentage of how much you want to spend. In this case, I'm going to do max. And here, you can set your range. It automatically will do the average range that people are doing split right half 6%. If I want the bottom of the range to get wider, I can click on that and you can see that it's getting wider and wider. Exactly the same with the inverse. I can press plus and the top of the range is going up. If you want to see the ideal way to enter liquidity pools and the different things you should think about, you can check my video there. But just for example's sake, I'm going to stick to 6%. And here you see your width as a percentage and the estimated APR is ridiculous, 2,263. And here you have automate rebalancing. I don't recommend doing this unless you know what you're doing. This can lead to a lot of impermanent loss and really it's a lazy way to look at your liquidity pools. It's a very, very, very passive business normally. So just pay a little bit more attention because is this your money? But you can see you can disable this so the rewards are going to be compounded instead. The rewards on Aerodrome such as this liquidity pool are always going to be paid in Aero. So if you want to change the, the fees that you're getting, you have to change it. Here we can do buffer so the rebalance will only take place outside this range and you can pick your specific buffer. You can do lower buff merging, lower lower then and then you can select your amount and upper buffer margin, no or lower then then you select your amount. But this is a lot more complicated. And you can do a cutoff point, rebalance or not take place outside this range and then you can set your amount. Personally, I would not automate auto rebalancing because there's many specific criteria and you've got to analyze the market condition before you do rebalancing. And here you can automate the reward. So you can auto compound where the error emissions from that liquidity pool are going to be compounded back into the position or you can do auto harvest. And here you can select the specific crypto that you want. So people usually will take their rewards in USDC because obviously if there's a big market correction, you're gonna have actual funds that you can do to supply in these corrections. Or you could put into ETH, whatever you want. But just remember that in that specific crypto, if it's on something like Uniswap, you're gonna get paid in both the first crypto and the second crypto. So in this case, I will be getting paid in Luna and in WEF and on Aerodrome you're always like this one you're always going to be paid in Aerodrome so bear that in mind and here we can adjust the slippage typically 0.5 percent obviously in times where there's a lot of transactions going you do have to increase the slippage but it's much less than with Solana Solana you have to increase the slippage a lot to showcase how easy it is let me just press max with my WEF do deposit and it's automatically calculating the ideal amount of crypto that's going to be swapped you can see here and doing this without VFAT takes a long time Click on deposit. Here, I just have to 
sign the contract on my Rabi wallet, sign, confirm, boom, transactions created. Then look, I'm just showing you in real time, you have to do, confirm another transaction because it's going to confirm again for the deposit. Then you just do sign, it's going to cost me 10 cent, sign, boom, it's done. A liquidity pool was done so, so easy. Transaction successful. And deposits, these are your active liquidity positions. You can see the total amount, 814 how much I've earned, the daily rewards, and you can change this to hourly, you can change this to weekly, you can change this to monthly, and you can change this to yearly. Here, you can change it to DPR, this is how much you're making a day, WPR, this is how much you're making a month, and APR is how much you're making annually. And here we have rebalance. So all I would need to do is rebalance. In here, in the current position, it shows you what range you set, which is in the green, and obviously the red line is where the price is now. And but the problem is if you automatically rebalance, you can see it's telling me to have 50-50 in both AIX, BT and WEF. And you don't want to do that because of impermanent loss. All I would need to do is, for example, if I want to do a snuggle rebalance, I'm going to keep the current position. And all I would do is press this button there. Boom, 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 boom. I'm keeping this current price. And then I want to snuggle as close as possible to the top price. So right here, it would be... 48% and I'll still be making a ridiculous nearly 3000% and then I'll click on rebalance and then I'll confirm just like that super super simple super super easy just confirm like it really is that easy and when the position is actually active because the last one wasn't active I can do increase so increase I could just put my ethereum increase the deposit and then I actually add to position you have withdraw and this will take your tokens out of the liquidity pool you could either get in the position you could either withdraw it in the tokens themselves which will always work or you can withdraw in ethereum but bearing in mind it's doing a lot of different calculations so sometimes it won't be able to do it if you want to withdraw it because Look, remove liquidity, swap, swap, uni wrap, protocol fee, protocol fee, withdraw. So typically it's better to actually just withdraw the actual tokens themselves because then it will always work. And here you have compound where it's going to use the rewards that it's currently earned and invest it back into itself. And then you have auto compound. I wouldn't recommend this because they're going to charge you 1.8% of the reward. It's not really worth it. Like if you've got tons of positions, like hundreds of positions, maybe it's worth it because it is a little bit of a manual process clicking these buttons every day, but not really. Do you really want to give up 1.8% of your rewards? I personally wouldn't. Harvest, and this is the actual rewards, so I can pick the specific crypto that I want rewards in. Usually I pick Aero, click Harvest, and then you can get the rewards that you made in that day see i've made 59 cent i can get it in arrow sign i got it and here we have swap so this is a way to swap different tokens with each other you can see i can select base i can select all these different chains and it's a dex aggregator so it's trying to get you the best price of all the dexes on all the different chains here we have tokens so it's the list of tokens that are available on vfa the level of change is just telling you the liquidity and the current price of all these tokens and here we have lending it's just giving you an insight into the DeFi market space the amount of markets the amount of borrow the total liquidity is showing like what currencies borrow the most and obviously it's bitcoin wrap bitcoin avax etc lastly we have stats which is what protocols have been used the most on vfa and you can see it's base because base is by far the best opportunity that has existed on Ethereum. And here we have the settings, and this is where you could change it to US dollar, to Bitcoin, to Ethereum. You can change the slippage, you can change the max price impact, and you can change your different sickles. So go from zero to hero in DeFi and really understand it to a high level. I highly recommend this community called underground investors escape the time for money trap and experience true financial freedom turn your crypto into cash flow and go from gambler to professional investor i'm sure you might have and people you know wasted tons of money on meme coin just like me i joined this community and they taught me so much about DeFi. i signed up to their free course that you can access in the link in the description and the pinned comment before i actually use the membership and if you want to go via the membership you can refer to me by name dylan and we'll both get 50 dollars sent to our wallet it's honestly an absolute game changer. But write down any questions you have regarding DeFi, regarding VFI, whatever, and I'll do my best to answer you. Please like and subscribe if this helped you. It's my mission in life to make you free. Bye-bye.